Hello all, in this video, we are going to see how to install MySQL and set up a database connection. So we will be using MySQL for our database uh, um, purposes later on when we develop a project. For that, you need to um, go to your Google uh, browser, browser and go to Google website and look for download MySQL go to download and in this you have to go to community downloads mysql community downloads and here i'm installing it for windows so if you're using if you are using mac you could go and install for mac okay so you could install this one and uh, um, it will ask you to log in or sign up you know so if you want you can Otherwise, you can just uh, uh, start up, uh, you can just uh, start your download, okay? So I already have downloaded and uh, put that this in a folder, okay? So if you click uh, this one, you would be able to get this file, okay? So Windows installer package. So my recommendation is double click on that after you install. It will take some time actually. In the installer window, keep that as a default. Uh, click next. Next. That's fine. Click next. Yes, I want to continue. And then execute. It may take a couple of minutes for you to install all these connectors. So, and you could see the progress here by the time of uh, MySQL documentation and samples and examples, it would be automatically installed. So, we would be using a MySQL as a, a database for the application that we are going to develop later on and uh, uh, using Spring Boot. I may pa pause the video here so that uh, I would start from uh, once it has been uh, finished installing all these connectors. Okay. Okay. So now we have completed uh, installing all the connectors. Click next. Next. The standalone MySQL server is enough. Next. This is a root password. Um, you could do whatever you want. The password, it's still showing me. Let me change the password. Okay, medium. Next. That's fine. Execute.
and then finish. Okay, so now we got uh, MySQL Workbench. In this, we are going to um, create some users. So I'm going to type the password now. After typing the password, you could click OK. Yes, it has connected. So if you notice here, you have the administration, which you do management and all that stuff here. And if you notice, you have schemas. In the schemas, you could see um, the existing databases, okay? Um, here you have tables, um, Sakila database uh, with the actor address and all that stuff as uh, tables, okay? so. What we need to do is we have to um, create a user in our root. Okay, so for that, what you need to do is you have to go to users and privileges and uh, drag this one a little bit so that you could see. Um, and add an account here. Okay, so now I'm giving this as demo and the password I am giving it as demos, sorry, one, two, three. You know, I'm telling the password because anyways, I'm going to give you this later on. This could be of your own password, okay? So please make sure you, you do your own password. And then apply okay so now even though it still shows an error message here with the password that is for updating your password however if you notice here um, under user accounts you could find the demo here okay so you could refresh and you could see that so under schemas now here in the query so basically now we want to create a database so we have to use um, the command create database let's say pets and then execute it okay create database pets in the console you could see the output so let's we created the database okay so previously you have this database we have seen and now pets we just created the database but we don't have any tables okay so usually in the jdbc what we normally do is we create tables uh, like a create table insert values update values delete uh, some columns or something like that so here we don't have to write those SQL commands. We would be automatically doing this through JPA and we will be seeing that in the later on videos, okay?
make sure you install this properly before you proceed with the next video. Okay, thank you.